Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's news a video, we're gonna cover iOS Safari new feature, which will affect the scrolling websites. We'll look at GreenSock update and their percentage-based transforms, and we'll look at some pure CSS parallax scrolling example. And right at the end of the video, we'll deconstruct very, very creative uh, scrolling animation. So stay tuned till the end of it. But before we dive into the news, I wanted to share with you an example from one of the students from Parallax Scrolling Masterclass, which I received uh, just yesterday. Lee sent me this example of his round two animations. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty cool what he came up with and uh, what he was able to do after completing the Parallax Scrolling Masterclass. So well done, Lee. And now let's get to the news. The first exciting news for today is that iOS 8 Safari will no longer disable scroll events, which means that Windows on scroll will actually work the same way as on the desktop browsers, which is a great news for us uh, front-end developers and for the parallax scrolling lovers. And uh, that means that all animations will work the same way on mobile and uh, desktop browsers. I'm sure Google will also implement this into the Google Chrome browser so we can have uh, two browsers supporting this feature on mobile phones and uh, that will make our life much, much more easier. I tried to find out more details about this feature on the Apple website and I'll reveal it in my next news video. In the latest GreenSock update 1.13.1, .1, which has been released a couple weeks ago, uh, they introduced new percentage based transforms, which is actually great for responsive animations. What it lets us uh, define is X percent and Y percent offsets. So when we change the full width container size, the elements using that X percentage and Y, y percentage offset will actually work the same way. So great feature for mobile optimized uh, animations, responsive websites, and uh, I can't wait to dive into and explore this uh, feature more in my future demos. They've got a couple code pen demos on the site, so we'll check it out and see how it actually works. This one actually shows how the position elements in the middle of the screen and how it affects when you resize the parent container. So check it out. It's definitely a great feature and uh, very handy for responsive mobile optimized uh, animations. If you want to use CSS for parallax animations, you can try to follow this article from Keith Clark on his website, where he demonstrates how to use CSS transform and perspective to create depth and uh, layers on top of each other. So as you can see, there's a couple layers, background layer, base layer, and a deep background layer. When you turn on this debug mode, you'll see everything in a 3D which gives you an idea how everything is structured. Basically all our JavaScript animations and uh, parallax scrolling could work the same way. So you've got the background, the deepest, the, the furthest uh, layer with the background image and then elements on top of each other. Okay, so the closest element to the viewport to the user is the one which usually renders the, the quickest or scrolls the quickest and the further deep layer scrolls very, very slowly. That gives you the 3D effect. So check out this uh, article. It gives you some handy tips how to achieve parallax scrolling animations using pure CSS. And finally, as I promised, now we're gonna look at some scrolling animation, deconstructing scrolling animation on bellbros.com, which is a cool zooming into two images of uh, Bell Brothers. And they also blinking. So let's uh, have a look how this was done. We'll go to the inspector, inspector element. And uh, as you can see, there is a background, backgrounds uh, diff, which contains both left and right or dance and John's uh, portrait. So dance on the left and both of these containers have a uh, 
background image and the eyes on top of them. So if you if I zoom in a little bit so we can see it, you'll see that Dan container contains the eyes position absolute at the right spot, which is a sprite containing all four frames. And then there is a CSS three animations with four steps going from no image to the last frame. So that's where he has the eyes uh, closed. And uh, as you can see, it repeats infinitely. And another diff in the same container contains the background image, which is not actually an image, but it is a SVG. So this SVG is the image of Dan. So if we load this image in a new browser window, so we'll duplicate it and go just to that. You'll see that that's the SVG containing Dan's uh, background image. And then it's animating on scroll, animating the width, height, margin left and margin top. So as you can see, these four values are animating on scroll. The same thing applies for John on the, on the right side. This is not using any uh, JavaScript libraries. This is a custom build code. So if we open the applications JS, you can see that there's no uh, scrolling libraries like scroll or scroll magic. Everything is written looks like from scratch and uh, there's a lot of if statements for responsive uh, smaller screens and then each of the John container and Dan container has been resized, resized with height and margin left and top and as you can see there's a lot of code so I'm not gonna go through all of it just wanted to show you which of the CSS properties is being animating and how the blinking of their eyes uh, was done as well. So pretty cool, interesting concept. Definitely creative, nicely aligned when it's at the top of the page and then zooming in. Okay, so dive into the developer tools, inspect it by yourself to see which animations, uh, which CSS3 properties to animate. Hope you will learn from it as well. And that's all we've got time for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you wanna leave a comment with a link to a website to deconstruct next time, that would make my day. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.